Kevin Costner's Horizon and here's the latest news. We've made a few videos about Horizon. Well here's the very latest because opening weekend has only just finished. And if you remember, Kevin was predicting 14 million for his first weekend, but always knew it was going to be tough because it was up against a quiet place three. So now the weekend has just come to an end. And how did it pan out? Well, so on the Friday night of the $100 million epic horizon, it made 4 million on the Friday night for a total of 12 million for the whole weekend. Kevin was hoping for 14, they got 12, cost a hundred million to make. Now you've got to remember there's some, there's some confusion about a hundred million because originally they were saying all four were planned to cost a hundred million. Then they're saying well two are actually finished and the two cost a hundred million. Now some people are saying no no it was only the first one that cost a hundred million. Doesn't matter. The fact is it made four million on the opening night Friday for a total of 12 million for its opening weekend. How did it fare against the much anticipated Quiet Place 3, which they always, even Kevin, Kevin said it was tough opening on that same weekend as A Quiet Place 3. And A Quiet Place 3, against Kevin's 4 million on the Friday, A Quiet Place 3 made 22 million on Friday. And against the 12 million on the of the weekend for Horizon, a Quiet Place 3 made 60 million. Wow, how's that for an opening weekend? But there is more to the story than that because on the weekend that Horizon has made 12 million and A Quiet Place 3 didn't quite hit 60 million but it was close, another movie beat them both. And that movie was a cartoon. And that movie that beat them both, that was a cartoon, had already been showing for three weeks. So here's the biggest shock in that when Horizon made 12 million, and I'm sorry if I'm shouting in your ear, mate. Horizon made 12 million, and A Quiet Place 3 didn't almost made 60 million. Another movie, a cartoon, did crack 60 million, but when it cracked 60 million, it was its fourth weekend when it did that and over those previous three weekends and that current weekend it has made nearly I have to I, I don't know if I can say this it made nearly 450 million dollars how staggering is that and this this cartoon is a sequel it's called Inside Out 2 Inside Out 1 which is a cartoon about a young girl and the creatures in her head who hasn't got a variety of people inside their head we won't go down that path will we steve no steve we will not anyway where we're at where were we before i started talking to my other steve inside out one was in 2015 and that a cartoon cost a staggering 175 million to make it made 850 million there are some pretty staggering statistics when you think about what poor old Kevin is up against. Everyone's agreeing now that he's put in about 50 million of his own money. There's claims and counterclaims. It's 38 million. It's 50 million. Who cares? It's a big sum of big chunk of money that he's put in for Horizon. He's only got 12 million for the first weekend. And as I say, when the next one comes out in uh, August, Chapter 2 comes out, it's up against the uh, Alien, no research here, but it's the next in the franchise of the Alien movie, so who knows how it'll do then. Heaven forbid it comes up against the cartoon. So anyway, where are we at? We're at the point that it's Horizon, despite what the critics say, despite what some terrible things people have said on my channel about some of my Horizon videos saying I don't know what I'm talking about. Well the thing is I'm only sort of reporting the facts ma'am, nothing but the facts. And so where we stand at the moment is Kevin Costner's put in 38 to 50 million of his own money for 100 million. It's returned 12 in its opening weekend. But really as I've said in a previous video, 
He doesn't care because he's looking at the big picture and he's looking at long term. So Kevin Costner is looking long term with Horizon. The critics are still being scathing and now the reality is first weekend it's going to be lucky to crack 12 million. But let's just say that once upon a time somebody said they were going to make a movie called Bull Durham and it was going to be a disaster because it was about baseball. And Kevin Costner said, no, I'm going to give that a go. And it was a massive hit. And then there was a movie called Field of Dreams. And people said, look, you were lucky once, but nobody watches baseball movies. And it was a mega blockbuster. So then what happened is Dances with Wolves come along. And what happens is people say, this is far too long a movie. We're going to chop it down. It has to be a 90-minute movie. And then other people say, no one will watch a movie in which all the Native American dialogue is genuine and it has subtitles. No one will watch it. Kevin Costner was not happy with this, and so he decided he was going to put in his money to do it his way. Big bun fights, big arguments. So Kevin Costner takes over Dances with Wolves. Seven Academy Awards, I think, at one. Got him Best Director. Anyway, you can look that up. Huge! Huge success. But the reality with Dances with Wolves is because people said it will be a failure, it is too long, the Native Americans must speak in English. Kevin said no. So what happened is that Kevin actually put in three million of his own money to make sure it got done his way. Now you say, well, three million is not much. The whole entire movie back then only cost 19. So his three million was quite a substantial input back when that movie was made. So how did it fare that it, he put in three million? It cost 19 million. And at the box office for the 19, it returned $185 million. Now the thing is, Kev put in three million to that and of that 185, are you sitting down? <laughs> Sorry, I poked him in the eye with my shoulder. Kevin got 50 million of that 185 million for making Dances with Wolves. That, who knows? And who knows what else he reaped on the side for the kudos or for the, for the fact that he did it. So that was Dances with Wolves. So then along comes a movie called Waterworld, where it is alleged that when the typhoon hit the Waterworld set and destroyed it, and the movie was going to be cancelled, it was going to be the biggest flop of all time, Kevin kicked in 22 million of his own money, 22 million, just to rebuild the set in the water that was destroyed by the typhoon. So, in the end, that movie cost 200 million to make, and it only grossed 88 million at the box office but Kevin insists that it was a good investment and that that movie is now in the black with the passage of time and this is what I've said to you in an earlier video about Horizon that he is looking long term doesn't care how much Horizon cost or how much it makes in the first damn weekend because he is looking long term investment so how did long term investment go he made the postman for 80 million it only returned 20 million but it is still said to be a, a break-even movie now through the passage of time. But then he footed the bill to make 22 million, and he footed the bill for that to make a movie called Open Range with Robert Duval. His input of 22 million reaped him 70 million. He's doing pretty well on the overall investment of things. And then, of course, we come to another movie that yet again Hollywood refused to make. And that's called The Upside of Anger. He thought it would be a successful movie. So he kicked in nine million of his pile. He calls it his pile. He says that it, he doesn't talk about his money. He says his pile. So he kicked in nine million of his own pile because he had faith in The Upside of Anger. And that movie got him 22 million. So really, when he's rolling these dice, he's coming up winners. I don't know how you, the rules for craps, so I don't know what's a winner and what's not. But when he rolls the dice, he gets a winner. So I think the other slightly side issue is that a while back he heard about this scheme that was going to involve 
and machinery and mechanisms to separate oil from water. Hmm, does this sound like a Brooklyn Bridge for sale thing? But anyway, he kicked in 35 million of his pile into this scheme to separate oil from water. And, we, and then there was a terrible disaster in the Gulf of Mexico. I think it was called the... I might be getting the Vent Horizon <laughs> muddled up with a science fiction movie. But anyway, there was a disaster in the uh, Gulf of Mexico with the oil rig. And BP paid Kevin Costner. 60 million to use his oil water separation technique that had cost him a 35 million dollar investment. So you can see overall, Kevin's done pretty well. He'd be a pretty, he'd be a pretty good horse to back, don't you think? So I'm going to end off this video with what the critics are currently going bonkers about. And they're all getting on this bandwagon. And it's sort of like the Emperor's New Clothes, you know, they're all saying the same thing. They're all saying, you can't make a movie that isn't an entity. You can't make a movie in which you release one part of the movie and you tell people, come back and see that this isn't the, the movie's got more to it. Come back another time. You can't do that. And that's what the critics are all banging on about at the moment with Horizon, that you can't bring out a movie and it's only part of us. This is too fine for TV, but... So what I want to say is, Tell that to a bloke whose name is Peter Jackson and who each year released Lord of the Rings Part 1 and said, come back next year to see how it uh, travels. And then when he, was, when he came back next year, he said, come back next year to see the next part. So uh, they call themselves movie critics. Are they... Have they forgotten about Lord of the Rings? I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm keen to see Horizon. Of course, where I live, middle of back of Burke, middle of nowhere, 200 miles from the nearest set of traffic lights, nearest picture theatre is uh, nearest proper picture theatre is probably 300 kilometres away. I think there's one in a small town, 200 kilometres away. God knows when they'll get Horizon in. But anyway, video's gone on far too long. Said enough. Middle of winter. Glorious day. I'll just finish off. If you're still here now, if you're still here, let me just say. We have had some diabolical weather at the moment. I shouldn't say that, it's winter. Of course you get cold weather in winter. But then you get a day like today, which is the middle of winter. It's only supposed to get to 13 degrees. But when you've got not a cloud in the sky and not a breath of wind, not much of a wind, and it's very pleasant. And so we, could, we, might, we both might just stand here. and have a little snooze. Are you still watching? <laughs> See you later.